I like these squeeze bottles because I squeeze it up to 3.2 ounces instead of 2.6 for 40 to 1 instead of 50 to 1. I've got this. I don't really want to use this. This is technically for two gallons of fuel, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to try to mix these two. Let's see if they mix. This is blue oil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this in. And, uh, and then we're not going to shake it. We're going to see if they actually stay, if, if they mix together or not. Brand new. What do you think? Will the two oils separate or will they just blend together okay? Like I said, I'm not going to go ahead and, I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to go ahead and close that up. I'm just going to leave that there. See if anything changes. All right, so it has been officially 35 minutes now. Interesting. It did not, it did not mix. Oh, wow. I did not expect that. Look at that. So is it a bad idea to dump different types of different types of two stroke in together? Now we're gonna try something here. I'm gonna see if when you squeeze this up into the bulb, I'm gonna see if it just gets the red armor up into there. Turn off this other light. Might be better. Okay. Let's take a look here. I'm going to squeeze 3.2 ounces up into there. Because that's what I run in a gallon of fuel. Okay, it's sucking both types of oil into here now, guys. It's, it's, it's pulling the Husqvarna oil and the Echo Red Armor into there. I will stop at 3.2 ounces. All right. Now the question I have is this. I've got a little bit of Red Armor. I've got a little bit of Red Armor in the bottom of the container. Let's see what happens in here. Let's see if this looks different. Oh, wow. Guys. Is that bad? Could this be a cause for some people's failures in their two-stroke engines? You know, situations where they say they swear they have mixed fuel in there, but then what happens is they take it in and it went... It messed up. Did I just accidentally run across something like that? Look at that. Did I accidentally run across something? What do you think, everybody? This may be a very bad idea. What do you think, everybody? I'm going to go ahead and shake it up. purple now because that makes sense red and blue I wonder if that will separate back out I have a feeling it probably will tell me what you guys think will would that cause an issue I'm just thinking about all the times someone has sworn they put mixed fuel in there and you know I've heard the thing like hey shake your fuel before you um, you know, shake, shake your, uh, your gas before you, you run your stuff or before you pour it. Um, could, could there be some sort of chemical separation between, 
um, when, you, when you, if you mix two two-stroke oils. So let's say you have Steel Ultra in there, and you have, and then you dump some Red Armor. Um, does does that cause an issue um, in terms of lubrication internally? That's a question that I'm not going to be able to answer, but I'm sure if someone were to go ahead and send off samples, um, I don't know if that would even do it, really. I really don't know if it would do it. Do you lose lubricity by, um, by mixing two different types of oils? The uh, Husqvarna oil is considered a synthetic blend, okay? Um, and it's supposed to be good oil. This is full synthetic, and it's also supposed to be good oil. Uh, I don't want to waste... Uh, I'm kind of curious. I'm, I'm curious to see if this will actually um, work. Uh, well, if, if it'll stay mixed now that I shook it. Okay, I have a feeling it will separate back out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this here probably overnight and we'll, we'll take a look. Let me see if there's something more obvious. Let's see if it's starting to separate yet. Doesn't look like it's separating at this point in time. So I would like some help. Uh, this, this video is 42 minutes long. Very, very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. All right, we're about a half an hour later on this. Let's see if this is separated back out again. Let's put this on super, super bright here. It's interesting, and it doesn't appear to be separating at this point. We are a couple hours later here. We're gonna go ahead and see if this is separated out. It does not appear to have separated. And it's all looking pretty purple. So what's your guys' thoughts on that? Do you think that that oil is safe to use? Can I still run that oil? What do you think? Can I still run that oil? I mean, is that something that would be trustworthy? Should I put it in like a, a junky engine first and just see if it works? I mean, I'm, I'm sure it'll work. I'm sure it'll burn. I'll come back to this in a few days, maybe like a week, and we'll see if it has separated out. Is that something that's interesting to you all? If it is, let me know your thoughts.